everyone, welcome along to the channel today. Uh, today I am up on the downs. It's windy. It's uh, proper low clouds. It's nice. It should be good. Uh, so today, today I have got my Holger, my Holger wide pinhole camera top of me. I'm pretty sure it's loaded with some um, Ilford Panda 50. I say I'm pretty sure. I loaded up a few weeks ago, expecting to get out of it. And I'm pretty sure that's what I'm putting it, so that's what we're shooting with today. Or shooting at today. Um, so I'm going to have a little wander along the top here. See if I can find a few shots, uh, particularly from those the trees, maybe back by the wind or something. Get a bit of movement into them. Um, I've been there. I haven't done any meter readings yet, but exposure is not too bad. Um, so, anyway, we'll have a little prod. Find hopefully get some nice shots. sit the cloud, the bench up in the cloud, silhouette off a little bit. So unfortunately the audio was starting to get really bad on uh, some of this as you've probably been able to tell. The microphone wasn't handling it too well. So I'm going to do some voiceover. So for this shot what I wanted was this tree in the center and particularly with the two hopefully either side of it just to add a bit of extra interest. And what I like about uh, shots like this is what I was um, hoping for is that the tree trunk stays nice and rooted and uh, still in the image and the rest of it you just kind of get this sense of motion so where it gets blurred in the long exposure you kind of get more of a feeling of uh, what the uh, weather the environment was like while I was taking the photos so I'm kind of hoping for this nice kind of battered blur just kind of up in the skyline from the uh, 30 second exposure that it's going to be.
So for this shot I wanted to get quite nice and low to the ground or to the water's edge. I was just hoping to get a little bit of something in the foreground, a little bit of the hay and stuff that's sitting in the water. Uh, again it was another 30 second exposure so that was hopefully going to just smooth out the uh, puddle, have a bit of a, a blurry reflection off the tree in the uh, puddle as well. Unfortunately the puddle was just full of obviously the cow dung and stuff so that wasn't the nicest spot to be in but it was hopefully um, going to be worth it for the shot. past through this gate just a minute ago actually I'll come back I thought actually this could make quite a nice shot um, over the gate over there signposts the paths the paths leading off and stuff so Let's see if I can set up a shot worth for trying it the dog don't run off Okay, so I've got the shot set up, signpost in the middle, hopefully uh, low enough so it's kind of in the um, sky. Should nicely get the path leading to the fence, path going off around the corner, trees over here. This, look at that. Uh, rocks in the foreground. So, and probably some light lakes. Light. Light leaks. Right. make him sleep for the rest of the day. Poor old thing. So heading back I came across this tree which looked quite nice being battered in the wind but also just to the right of the image there's a path which just leads along the side and then kind of just weaves up off over to the top of the hill. Um, so this is what I was trying to hopefully capture in this shot. Uh, originally when I'd set it up uh, the camera was way too low. Fortunately, I'd uh, started to notice that the camera was getting a real wobble in the wind. It wasn't as, as secure as I was hoping. Um, so yeah, as the wind battered it, you could really see the camera starting to shake. So I had to uh, raise the camera up to a higher level, which made it wobble even more. I switched over to the spikes on the feet of the tripod uh, just to try and secure the tripod a little bit more into the long grass um, and then just kind of try, try to stand at the angle of the wind just to stop it from hitting the camera but unfortunately the wind just seemed like it was coming from all over the place so um, uh, it was kind of just a hope and see shot really um, 
But either way, I figured I'd go ahead with it as it gives me an idea for a composition for maybe a slightly nicer day uh, where the camera's not being battered all over the place. But definitely the Holger is not a windy day camera. That'll make for a better shot, I think, especially with the tree. So, this will be the last one. A little bit out of the wind here as well, so it shouldn't have too much camera shake. So, I'll quickly set this up. Job done. Sun's starting to pop out now, so better quickly double check this. Need to read them. Six, seven, ten, 20 seconds. So, last shot. Anyway, I'm just on my way back down from the downs and it's sunny down here. Should have stayed down here today. Anyway guys, I really hope you've enjoyed the video today. I really hope you've enjoyed the photos. Hopefully they've all come out alright. Um, it's been good fun. Um, it's nice to get out with the Holger again actually. So I certainly need to do it more often. Um, just need to stock up on my 120 film and stuff. Um, yeah, Really hope you've enjoyed it guys. Uh, and make sure you subscribe, like, uh, leave a comment. Um, it all helps me, it's all nice, it's nice to hear from people and hear people's views and stuff. If you've got any uh, opinions you want to share, please, please do. I, um, I, um, I enjoy it, I enjoy the feedback, it helps me out and it helps uh, my little channel grow. So thanks for watching guys and I'll uh, see you next time I'm out.